All right, this is CMD Boxing Reports. This is Ronell Higg reporting here. Yeah, man, I'm back at it for the boxing fanatics. So, all right, so Canelo Alvarez has already put his statement out about a trilogy with Gennady Golovkin, okay? However, Gennady Golovkin, he makes his return on June 8th, okay? Against a unknown, undefeated, uh, middleweight from Canada by the name of Steve Rose. Okay, the brother is 19 and zero with 10 knockouts. Okay, now there was a whole bunch of names they went through. Okay, that they had chose uh, Steve. Uh, I'm about to say Steve Farhood, but Steve Rose from. Okay, um, they, they had a whole list, and I guarantee you. Matter of fact, they gave the names on that list, and let me tell you. Demetrius Andre or Jamel Charlo name was not on that list. You know, it, it was a whole bunch of other guys, you know, basically like, um, you, you know, with losses. Um, you had this one guy from France named Endam um, or um, uh, Endom or something like that. Some African dude. But, um, you know, his record was pretty good. He only had like two losses out of 31 fights with 23 knockouts. So the, the boy had some pop. However, you know, they chose Steve Rose, okay, with 19 and 0. And like I said, 10 knockouts. You know, his promoter, Tom uh, Lofer, Lofler, I can't pronounce the dude's name real good, but he said, you know, this is a good pick for him because, you know, he's undefeated, okay? So, you know, that'll look good for his fighter, Gennady Golovkin. And he stated that hopefully after this fight, this come September, they could you know, really like start making arrangements for the rematch with uh, Canelo Alvarez and everything. And um, a couple of people agree, but stating what Canelo Alvarez has to say, that he's not interested in a fight with Canelo, I mean, uh, Gennady Glove. He's not interested in a trilogy. Well, you know, like the only way, you know, he'll be like, he'll fight the guy again. And that's if, Gennady Golovkin has a title. I mean, really, he's not interested with, with another trilogy with Gennady. But if it includes a title, because Canelo believes he can beat Gennady again. And he is trying to unify, you know, with all the titles at middleweight. You know, that's what this fight coming up with him and um, Daniel Jacobs is about. So, hey, most likely he'll beat Jacobs. And then if Gennady Golovkin had a title, okay, they can make that fight coming up this September. And like I said, it's in his heart that he can beat Gennady. So he'll beat him again, you know, and he'll have like three belts. Now, he wanted he wanted Gennady to take on WBO uh, middleweight champion Demetrius Andre. We all know that ain't going to happen. OK, his name wasn't on that list, like I said, because Andre has a fight coming up later on this month. OK, uh, June, no, not this month in June. I mean, he has a fight coming up on June 22nd or something like that. And um I mean, Gennady Golovkin's his is on June 8th. I mean, the only way that can happen is if something like Deja Vu go down. Like, let's say if Demetrius Andre opponent get hurt and Gennady Golovkin's opponent gets hurt, you know, like weeks, weeks before the fight. And then, you know, they need a replacement. Bam. Ho, oh, there you go. You know, I remember that, that happened with uh, Lennox Lewis and who was that? Vittity Klitschko. Both their opponents end up getting hurt. So they didn't have no dancing partner, so they end up fighting each other, right? So the only way of, of a, out of a miracle, something like that was to happen. And, you know, with uh, Gennady Glover and facing Andre, man, I mean, it'll be, it'll be messed up because neither one of them trained to fight each other. But this is the fight a lot of people want to see. A lot of people want to see Andre in the ring with Gennady Golovkin anyway. But, you know, like I said, it just be a, a messed up situation on how it happened. But if he really wants that fight with um, Canelo Alvarez again, and that situation is to pop up, you know, he will have to take that fight with Demetrius Andre and try to take his WBO belt because Canelo Alvarez, once again, is not interested in a fight with Gennady Golovkin, not unless he has a belt. OK, rather than that, hey. Canelo Alvarez is going to move on, okay? He, he wants to move up to 175, take on, um, you know, Sergey Kovalev, and 
and who knows if he'll stay there i mean it'll be nice if he does stay at 175 light heavyweight okay that's if he does you know defeat sergey kovalev you know he's serious about it uh, canelo alvarez that is but if he does beat him and everything's you know hopefully he won't move back down to like 164 or 168 you know 164 he could take on back i mean 168 75 i'm sorry <laughs> like heavyweight he could stay there and take on a uh, better be than be ball you know two young lines you know hey the boy has a, a very long contract you know big contract that he must honor and he wants to give us big fights so hey take it from there right eh? so anyways and that's my take on this this is cmd boxing reports and i'll catch you on the next one subscribe